I was a math teacher in the inner city of Oakland, California for six years. I had, yeah. Thank you, one person, for supporting my dreams. <laughs> I had gang members in my class. When I taught, I had to come up with street-type analogies to make my lesson plans relatable. So for instance, we were studying the different kinds of numbers. I was like, all right, here's how you learn the different kinds of numbers. Imagine you're at a party, all the numbers are there, right? This crazy number comes in, just starts flipping over tables. You're like, what's your problem? He's like, I'm irrational. <laughs> it's gonna get much worse, okay? <laughs> Now, you're irrational numbers. You're like, chill, man, we're both some real ass numbers. I mean, we're both part of the same set. My number, put it right there, my number, right? All the squares start rooting for you. Root, 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 root. You see this girl just floating by. He's like, damn, I want to get her digits. Nah, man, you can't. She's imaginary. When imaginaries and reals mix, things get complex, man. Her last boyfriend was a zero. She never got over him, man. It was impossible. You can't get over a zero. Their relationship was undefined. Now your ex comes in. Your ex comes in with some other unknown. You're like, why? If she two times me, I'm getting even, if you know what I mean. Unless she wants a three-way, which would be odd, shoot. Whatever, I'll find a girl in her prime. 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 53. When it comes to age, I got no limit. Hop into my infinity. Let's get some pie. <laughs>